All right, let's talk about this because it's gonna be. So some backstory to this scene: Joker meets the Batman. Before I go in, man, I was like, "Dang, when is this scene gonna happen?" When I'm watching the movie, because I was that's I saw that in the trailer, and I'm like, "Shoot, I want to see the scene already. Where is it? Where is it?" I didn't know I was gonna leave like be at the end and credit scene kind of thing. I thought I was gonna watch like as part of a, a glimpse back to the the nightmare sequence, right? So I, I was expecting it somewhere that I was to see it somewhere in the, in the middle of the movie to kind of get Batman going. Pause, sir. Pause, sir. Ten four. That too, because the movie was already shot, so I, I kind of knew more, following it more. This is the only scene of the movie that was shot that wasn't shot originally with Zack Snyder. This was in filmed in his backyard because the Warner Brothers told him he's not allowed to shoot any extra scenes, but he didn't listen, and he did this scene in his backyard. Wow. And this wasn't in the original cut, but since he had the time and he knew that, you know, he you know that he can see that the Joker didn't get his his due in Suicide Squad because there's another campaign called the Air Cut. That they did the same thing to that movie that um warner brothers came and gutted it out and they was messing with the movie and it had it was gonna be a whole nother movie and there was a mm -hmm. lot more joker and harley quinn in it. it was wow. a bunch of scenes with joker and harley quinn explaining a lot more yeah and they warner brothers meddled and fucked it up yeah so this is his last chance, his last chance to um to fix what happened with that Joker because a lot of people hate on it. I liked it, but it just didn't ha was enough. It was just like why even bring him in and give show that little of him? Like don't even bring him in yet if he's gonna be that little bit in the movie. Yeah, but there's apparently like half an hour's worth of more Joker scenes that they didn't put in the movie. Oh boy, it's like the Suicide Squad. And also, at the end of Suicide Squad, he had that this vest that he's wearing right now. Oh yeah, he swap did swap vest. Yeah. So he's been through a lot, and also the thing that I was thinking about Flash going back in time. I don't know when it happened, or Flash did it, or something else did it, but he doesn't have the tattoos anymore on his face. So what I think happened was Joker here talking to Batman talked about multiple timelines that Batman fucked up. Yeah. Maybe during one of those Flash moments, maybe, you know, this is me guessing, Flash changed Joker's destiny to the point that he didn't get those tattoos. It was that it was a specific timeline where Joker didn't do that. Uh, that's cr that's a crazy theory. Yeah, that sounds cool. Because in that way, it. you can fix why you know people. A lot of people didn't like that. I was okay with it because it was a different interpretation. But it's a good way to because he yeah he's that's exactly what he's talking to Batman about. It's like you 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 won't risk your own life in any of these timelines. You're always watching people die. That's that's Joker's whole point about this whole thing. About this whole agreement that he needs, he, Batman finally needs the Joker, and it's like he's about to come in his pants, talking about reach arounds, giving Batman reach arounds, and also super nerdy stuff. This that was an improv line by Jared Leto talking about the reach around. That wasn't in the script, and they left it in. Wow. And him giving him the card, you know, symbolizes the bond they have to make together. And when he rips it is when the bond is broken. And a really interesting thing that connects this scene to Batman v Superman. So there's a scene where 
you see Ben Affleck getting his mask taken off, right? In the Batman versus Batman, Superman, because, yeah. Because he's dreaming that. This is that same time, that same time frame. Right. It's just he interprets different in his dream every time. It's a little different. 